everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use adobe express for education let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe express i want you to click on the sign up option and from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go adobe express is an excellent tool for enhancing education offering creative ways to present information organize materials and engage students now once you are logged into your account i want you to click the project or design that you're working that you are planning to use for education if you haven't already just go to the template section where in we can browse education related templates that we can use as the base design all that i have to do is type in the search templates and type education and press enter so these are going to be 14,000 plus results for education is it going to be high education or is it going to be a curriculum curriculum and a lot more so you have all of these options but you're not limited all right so from the templates you can sort it for photos videos design assets backgrounds and a lot more so we're going to go for the videos especially for teachers where and if they are planning to design visually appearing um if for example charts and graphics to explain complex concepts or if if they wanted to use templates to create professional looking lesson plans that are easy to read and share all right so they can do that here for example we're going to be looking on this right how about this one because we're planning to customize this to replace traditional slides with dynamic and visually engaging ones for a classroom teaching right click the customize template now once you are inside the design canvas you see you, these are highly customizable let me tell you that all right for example if you want to replace this image right here for like a video we can do that go to media in the left side panel of your dashboard for example if, if it's biology type in videos and then biology I'm going to replace that here press enter to see if what we got okay so we got we got something like this one right here all right so we're going to drag the uh, video to fit in in our uh, presentation see that in terms of the literature we're gonna delete that and type in literature and press enter so we can do all these all right so this right here let's replace that and in terms of math obviously we're going to type in math here let's see what we got oh uh, for example this one right here just resize the video accordingly so that it would uh, not overlap with the others and the next one is going to be music type and enter maybe this one right here fits the bill i'm going to resize that and that's going to be english type that in the english is going to be for vocabulary all right so you can do all these making sure that the uh, you keep the uh, lesson plans or the syllabus um, interacting next is going to be art obviously we're going to replace that here art and we have the last three icons at the bottom and that's going to be signs press enter let's see what we got science is this one right here like dna molecules and whatnot physics and last is gonna be history press enter all right so this is going to be the last now for example you are happy with the design that you have created for education using adobe express you might want to click the play button to see 
if you can uh the design uh, uh has a consistent theme for your online classes or maybe if you're planning to create a short educational videos or explainer animations to support lessons in online or hybrid learning environments all right now students obviously can create their own short videos for book reports science experiments or historical summaries again you are welcome to use the media section here to make posters flyers or banners for school events and campaigns students and teachers can create their own portfolios to showcase their work from essays to creative designs all right for example you're happy with this you have multiple options at the download section we're in if you want to click the download button you have the option to download this as a png jpeg if you want to print this as part of the uh syllabus or curriculum you, you are welcome to do that you might want to choose the pdf print which is best for printing but if you want to share this and have a copy of this click the uh, mp4 now if you uh, think that this is going to be a recurring theme or you're going to use this kind of template in for future lessons or uh, online classes go to the make a template section all right you might want to save this as a template all right and of course you can write a note that would help users understand the purpose of this template and give overall guidance for example um you are working with multiple freelancers and you want to use this or multiple uh educate educators as well you might want to use that save note and of course save a template all right and then on the uh share button again you might want to go to the save to cloud so you can download a copy of this amazing design for future usage within your google account onedrive dropbox and issue so you have all these and of course you also have the option to send this link to uh, multiple educators um if you're working with online classes to your students by using this copy link right here all right you can also set the limitation to only invited people can access link or if you want anyone with the link can access to that you have two more options where they can edit and they can comment all right and remember that adobe express can be used for designing promotional materials for school events like open houses creating visually appealing announcements for important dates exams and deadlines you can develop interactive materials or guides for teachers and staff using adobe's express templates and design tools it's very easy it's intuitive it's just drag and drop all right now one of my best tips for using adobe express in education is that you can always save time by choosing the uh, thousands of pre-made templates that we did earlier right and of course you can use adobe express with uh, other google classroom or google ecosystem enabling seamless integration within your existing workflow and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one